Hey friends, it's Mike. And today I want to talk about our inner critic. You know, we were having this conversation around how to, how to talk and use words more strategically in our lives. And I think one of the things that we never really think about in terms of conversations or communication is the amount of communication that's actually happening in our head every day, almost all the time. For many years of my life, I've struggled with the inner critic. Just that, was, that, that negative chatter that would always you know, be spinning around in my brain telling me that I can't do it or that I, that won't work out. All this fear-based thinking. And so I want to talk about how we can contain that inner critic and really build some practices to help us uh, overcome some of that negative chatter. Now here's the problem. Our, our minds are created for creativity. And, and musing and, and imagination. You know, but, but negative chatter is corrupted creativity. So your brain was meant to be thinking about things and talking to you and, and us using words. That's a very natural thing. But, but all that creativity and all that imagination is corrupted when toxic chatter comes in. Toxic chatter, it, it, it blocks it blocks your vision and, and decreases your opportunities. It's like this, this little inner troll living in our brains. And, and the problem with this inner troll is that it's always writing one-star reviews of our life all the time, every day. It kind of looks like this. So I want you to imagine your, your life is like a ball, okay? And here's a ball. And here is the good life over here, okay? This is our destination, okay? And you're bouncing along, bouncing along in life, right? But there's a problem. There's this thing called negative chatter. And negative chatter, okay, there's our chatter. It's like a big old 10-foot wall. And so you're bouncing along in life, and the ball just keeps hitting the chatter. You can't do that. Don't risk that. That will never work out for you. Why even try? You get the point, right? The, the key here is, my guess is none of us are, are going to be able to totally get rid of the wall, right? We're all going to struggle at times with, with kind of toxic thinking and, and toxic chatter. But maybe what we can work on is making the wall a little bit smaller, lowering the wall, getting it to where the ball can still bounce through to the good life. So the inner critic, it's really easy to spot because it's pretty predictable and uh, pretty, uh, the characteristics are, are, are fairly obvious. The first, first characteristic of, a, of toxic chatter is that it tends to be black or white, black or white thinking. You, it says things like, you know, you can't have a job and be a good parent. It's very binary, right? Also, the inner critic often tends to be repetitive. It's just these repetitive statements that just go on and on and on. It says, you can never do that. Remember, you can never do that. And in case you missed it, you can never do that. It just repeats itself. And then uh, the inner critic, inner critic is often extreme and permanent. It says things like, if you do that, you'll be abandoned by everyone you love forever. So what do we do to, to deal with our inner troll and to deal with this inner critic? Let me give you three different ways. Number one, Deal with facts, not repetitive nonsense. You know, generally, negative chatter or limiting beliefs, they lose their power as we consider that what they're telling us and what they're saying to us may not be true. You know, the best way to deal with an online troll is to present the facts. And it's the same thing with our inner troll that inner critic, just present the facts. You see, the troll is always gonna be negative and, and telling you what you can't do. Remind yourself and remind that troll of who you really are. Number two, talk to yourself in third person. This is what I call the Bob Dole strategy. Now, Bob Dole was a presidential candidate many years ago, and he always referred to himself as Bob Dole. <laughs> he said, Bob Dole's gonna cut taxes. Bob Dole's gonna build roads. You know, he always referred to himself as Bob Dole. This is actually a scientifically proven strategy to help combat the inner critic. You see, when you talk to yourself, you wanna use what we call distanced self-talk. So, so research shows that talking to yourself in third person will calm your negative thoughts and improve performance. 
when you use your own name, you, you start, you know, talk to yourself. You say things like, Amy, you can do this. You know, most of us, unfortunately, use the first person, the first person, like, I know this feels like third, third grade English right now, but it, the first person says, you know, I can do this. I know I will get the job. It uses I versus your name. But the sound of our names can, can recenter us. It grounds us. It's much more powerful. You know, the TV personality, Mr. Rogers, who I'm a huge fan of, he, he used to pump himself up when he had to write a new script by saying, get to it, Fred. This type of third person talking really helps not only uh, improve performance, but lower that inner critic voice. And number three, talk to your troll. All trolls want to be noticed and given attention. Sit that troll down, sit that inner critic down and, and say, we're going to have an adult conversation here. It may look like this, like, hey, bro, I really appreciate your opinion, but we're not going there today. Don't ignore the voices, face them head on. So here's, here's the deal, friends. Stop bullying yourself with your own words. You, you talk to yourself more than any other person on the planet. So watch what you communicate to yourself. Be aware of the words you use. You can say it strong by talking to yourself in a much more loving and kinder way. Hey guys, I hope this was helpful. Share it with a friend if you've enjoyed it. I'm sure somebody else will enjoy it too. And I'll see you next time.